Good morning everybody, it's Friday, Friday fun day. So what card, we've got our tarot share today, so I've just set the table up. You can see all our lovely little cards, we've got some new ones today. So I spoke the other week about these Moonology cards, they're really wicked, really cool. And then we've also got, from my monthly magazine, some uh, Chakra Key cards that we'll be using in our share today. So let's, um, let's see what we've got as our card of the day for you all. I'm going to pick two cards. Okay, right, I haven't used this one. So, we have the Hermit today. Okay, um, I'll just read what it says and I'll give you my interpretation. Take time for contemplation, to retreat and go within. Be a beacon for others on their path to spiritual enlightenment. So this card is... Um, it's about reflecting, it's about maybe going into the quiet zone today and reflecting over the past, looking at ways where maybe things you've put in a little box and you haven't been able to get out and do them for whatever reason. This card indicates the now, the time to reflect over the past and all your hopes and dreams, things you've put in a little box to get them out and start acting um, and doing what it is that you want to be doing. Morning everyone, morning Adele, Sonia, Zoe, Sarah, Charlotte, hope, you are, hope you're having a good sunny holiday Zoe, sad news about Alfie, but Paul is alright and Sunny's okay out there. It's a little bit warmer today, not much, it's warm in the lounge but it's chilly outside. So yeah, reflecting over the past and deciding what it is you really want to do going forward, hopes and dreams, things you've boxed up. Um, you might find that you don't really want to be sociable today, you might find that you want to just withdraw or that you want to be with spiritual like-minded people, um, people that are on your wavelength, um, people that can understand the, uh, the spiritual pathway or the pathway that you're on. It's also about independence for me, so doing things on your own as opposed to teamwork today will be better. Um, and and staying in your independence, being true to yourself as as well. Meditation links really strongly in with this card. So meditating and going within to find your own answers. So everything to do with quiet time, reflection, um, and deciding what it is you want to go. Meditating to find those answers. And then let's just pick a little moon card. Oh, okay, blue moon. Believe in the impossible. So because these are new cards, I don't know all the, the full meanings of them yet. Um, so believe in the impossible. This is a, a full moon and it's indicating that um, after this period of reflection and going within, meditating and, and finding your deep within answers, this card is saying believe in yourself. Um, create the life that you want, the dreams that you want, the hopes that you want reevaluate things around you so that you can start to believe that anything is possible and what it is that you really want can come true in one way or another there having lots of hope so does anyone I'm going to do a quick card for someone I'm just going to save my toast my breakfast it's really weird without Paula being here it's quiet so I'll just grab my toast out and then I should pull a card for somebody um, yeah, it's weird not working with Paula. I don't like it. I need you back, wifey. Hayley was good yesterday. Okay, so um, I'm just going to go for... Um, let's have a look. Who have I not read for on here for a while? Kelly, I haven't read for you for a while, so as you're the first one to put me, please, let's see what we've got for you. Um, da, 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 what deck shall I use? What deck shall I use? Let's go for these ones. Okay. Right, Knight of Chalice, Claire. So this card brings um, good opportunities coming your way today. Um, either romantic offers or um, creative, inspirational, spiritual, good news coming, good news connected to either romantic gestures coming your way or where people are offering their help and their support to you, Kelly. Um, it indicates having to use your head though and not necessarily thinking too dreamy, don't bury your head in the sand, so be practical with the offers that come your way. It may not be on a financial basis, it could be much more on what's, what's going to feel um, good 
for you here. So if we're talking around a work situation, then this could be coming with good news, but like I say, not necessarily on financial, but on a job that you're going to enjoy, either working with children or creative ventures. Uh, if it is romantic, then it could be an offer coming in on a romantic gesture for you. But it is a very positive card. It does indicate how offers um, and moving forward from ideas on creative levels, taking that next step and moving into um, action in with those ideas. Um, but very much on a creative, spiritual feel to you. So hopefully that makes sense to you, Kelly. But it does bring good news. So you may find today brings you a lot of love, a lot of harmony, and gestures that come out of the blue to be able to bring good news. Um, Tammy, morning Kate, why is today not my day? It was only you just started, maybe you can change it. Go back to bed for an hour, we'll have a little meditation. Hi Andrea. It's only just started Tammy, so maybe make the day start again, make it your day, it's your choice. You can, uh, you can be the master of your own destiny. So if you've already had something not go quite right today, then try and think of a positive way to, um, to bring more happiness in and uh, take control. Don't let, um, don't let things spoil it too early. Okay, so hopefully those cards I've read make sense to people. If you want to pop in today, we, like I say, we've got our tarot chair, so everybody's welcome to come along for that. Um, and tomorrow we've got in the lounge Ben. I, read, uh, I wrote a story about Ben a few weeks ago where I met him. He was, um, he was living on the streets and then he's managed to turn it in a nutshell. He's managed to turn his life around. Um, so he's coming in to give us a motivational talk on his life and how he managed to turn things around. So if you think you've had a bad day, then maybe come in and listen to Ben and really see what a bad day was and how he turned his life around, which basically means anyone can if they really put their mind to it. Um, there was a little eight-year-old boy that helped him, inspire him to come off the streets. So that would be a really good um, motivational talk there. Bloody motorbikes. Anyway, have a good day, everybody. And we'll catch you later.